past creativity, fellowship, and friends. The perfect mix. PC House Productions. Welcome to episode four of The Common Chef. I'm Mr. PC. And I'm Sam Betty. We're gonna be very busy today. That's right, we have to make two main dishes and a delicious fresh fruit dessert. Not to mention all the prep work that has to go into this, and we only have two hours to prep and cook. Oh, they're twist off. All right, first thing oh, I need. Oh boy. Oh boy. Way to watch these. Oh, by the way, what's happening in the wine industry is they're running out of corks. So now everything's gonna twist off. I know a lot of people out there know that, but I was absolutely shocked. Shocked, I tell you, the first time that I saw that happen. Tonight we're cooking for a group of 15 people. It's a small home Bible study group. These are good friends, and one of the coolest things is that they love to drink wine just about as much as we do. We start with prepping all of our fruits and vegetables. These are complicated dishes we're making, so we need to be well organized. Butter! Alright. Here comes the fun part. Starting the risotto, you brown it, saute it to get the starches starting to release out of the rice. So you saute it in a little butter, olive oil, sometimes a combination depending on what you like. You add broth, warm broth, until covered, and then you let it absorb all that broth. And then you're going to do your next step where you add the same amount of broth back, and you do that three times, repeat the process, and it releases the starch. It creams it without adding any cream. A reality TV show that's softly quiet. <laughs> well, we're not quite reality stars yet. <laughs> we're waiting for Snooky to show up. <laughs> that this is probably not the correct use <laughs> for what I'm using it for right now. <laughs> it, it works. It, it does? Actually, that is part of the rule. If it works, it, it's okay. <laughs> if it works, it flies, baby. If it works, it's approved. All the vegetables are prepped. We've got no time to rest, though. I have to add the red pepper puree to the risotto and get that beautiful fruit glaze underway. We want to make sure the chicken has some time to absorb this delicious marinade. Consisting of honey, teriyaki glaze, Worcestershire sauce, chili paste, and some awesome seasonings. But it's time to start thinking about grilling those veggies and apples. That's right, I'm headed out to the grill while PC watches that fruit glaze and risotto. Now when you go back inside, be sure to pay attention to how PC layers this gorgeous curry stew. Little coat of uh, olive oil, and I like to season my uh, my onions and my garlic at the base. Give them a little salty flavor. In fact, I layer my seasonings as I go. Now, the most excellent stir fry mixture consists of four things at the base: soy sauce, fish sauce, vinegar and sugar. I think that's part of the fun of being a common chef, is being able to eyeball it. I'm gonna use brown sugar. You can use regular sugar if you want. Oh, okay, we'll see that right now. Well, can you ever really have too much brown sugar? I don't think so, that'll cook down nicely. Now the fish sauce, you don't want too much fish sauce at all. It's a great flavor. It adds a lot to the dish, but it does not take much. It's very concentrated. It's basically straight anchovy sauce. You just want to put a, a few dashes in there like that. Man, vinegar, about the same thing, but you can throw a little bit more in. Just kind of want to sprinkle these things in there. That's good. You think that's not good? Yeah. Green beans are going to take a long time to cook down. I'll get them going in here. As the vegetables start to go in, I like to throw in some chili garlic sauce. So 
season these veggies up nice. This thing is that you do in there does not go down. Splash of olive oil. Let me see if I can make it into the bin. And sear it. Get them flared. And then get that nice crispy outside to them. Now I'm going to add the rest of the vegetables. You need to make sure that you add the vegetables in the correct order so that none are either undercooked or overcooked. That order will depend on the vegetables you use. It's your choice. As the veggies start to cook down, it's a good idea to bring some more flavor. Make sure that you balance the soy and sugar in equal amounts as you tweak the dish. So we've got a nice assortment of vegetables. This is going to be one heck of a curry stew. Is what this is going to be. We're adding our coconut milk. Next, we'll throw in some red curry. Brought to you by Hokan Coconut Milk. We got to keep that glaze stirred up. You got to constantly stir a glaze when you're doing straight fruit, fresh squeezed orange juice, or pineapples, or it'll burn. But the goal is to just burn this thing down to nothing. So that it just goes right over the top of ice cream. We wanted a like thick syrupy thing. I think it needs some more brown sugar to be honest. With this much curry, I'd say about half this jar has got to go right in here. Man. And there's no reason in leaving that little bit of yummy goodness on there. Uh oh, only 10 minutes to go. That means we have to scramble right now. Got to get the scallops and the shrimp in the curry. The grilled chicken and veggie dish is done. Now it's time for final touches. Add some fresh grated parm to the risotto, and here come the guests. Normally you put this over rice, but we're gonna just go ahead and serve it up like a soupy stewy thing, which is why I made it so thick with vegetables. Two minutes before seven, two minutes before seven, it was the plan to be done by seven, and I think we're ready to go two minutes before seven. It's a shrimp, scallop, uh, all kinds of vegetables, as you can see in here. Very thick, stewy-like. Uh, the sauce, I think you'll you'll enjoy. Um, second course is uh, this dish here, which we'll find with some peppers, some apples, onions, uh, mushrooms, chicken, and it's meant to be served over this beautiful risotto that Sam put together. With uh, he's a food processor and put together roasted. Uh, red pepper, our red peppers in the uh, risotto red pepper puree, puree. Um, and that, that should be served over the top of the risotto. And then for dessert, we actually have an orange pineapple glaze um, that will be served over ice cream with a wafer stuffed in the side of the ice cream, which I think is pretty cool. Lord, thank you for every good gift you give to us. Uh, thank you for this delicious food. Um, thank you for the gift of friendship. Uh, thank you for your love and grace most of all, uh, and we pray that your face would shine on us and we would live in your light. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Amen. The guests came hungry, and the chow line formed fast. The curry was served soup style, topped with fresh chives. Serving the curry in a bowl made it easier for our guests to slurp that yummy goodness at the end. What did you think? It's wonderful. Yeah? Yes. What was the, the flavor like when you first I bit in? I loved, well, I love curry for one. And, but I was wondering what that sweet was, and she said it was coconut milk. <laughs> 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 it's coconut milk. Very? Delicious. That's all we can get, is it's, it's very good? <laughs> what does it do to your taste buds? Are they dancing? Are they waltzing? Or maybe a little break dance? I, yeah, I, I typically <laughs> don't like a lot of curry. Uh, but, but this is good. I mean, I'll go for second. You tell me everything I know. Perfectly done. Excellent. This yeah. is good. Yeah. Normally, you always get, in the special dish, you get shrimp that are overcooked. Right. And then you get them and they're something. These are so tender. Yeah, these are tender. Yeah, he'll go for seconds all right. Actually, everybody had seconds and probably even thirds. As the guests finished off the first dish, in comes the second dish, consisting of grilled chicken, veggies, and apple over red pepper risotto. Now tell me that doesn't look good. Yes. Very, uh, isn't that good? Yay! Let's do a cheers, Sam Betty. A successful drama chef. I think it's been successful. We haven't heard all the results yet, but I'm feeling good. I can tell you right now, this tastes like the results of you. Okay. <laughs> I am confident. We're actually getting pretty good.
egotistical? Maybe. Well, no, we've cooked a lot before we started doing the cooking ah, stuff. That's true. Which does help. It does help. We both did. Yeah. Especially you. Especially you. You taught me everything I know. <laughs> The well, star banner told a lie on it. Casey <laughs> actually taught me how to do it. I'm an innocent bystander and the moral compass. <laughs> All right, girls, you're on tape. We want impressions as to what you guys think about the food. Now, if you think rice, it's like, what is this? What's the orange, what's the orange, stuff? orange stuff? It's, it's called it's risotto. It's rice. But what's it's the orange stuff? Orange stuff. It's the red peppers. Uh. See, I, I had I told them it was anchovies. It's it's red sweet peppers that were pureeing the food processor with a little bit of olive oil, and you add that in to the rice as it cooks to give it flavor and color. You're sounding like PC now. <laughs> oh. I really like the oh. curry. I did, I did teach them everything. Sorry. <laughs> I really like the curry. Yeah, the curry is my yummy. favorite. That's gonna be delicious. Sweet, lovely yumminess. So we need one guinea pig to taste the glaze. Who's it going to be? Oh, okay. <laughs> We're ahead of you on that. Okay, let's let, let's let her have a taste of some glaze. Oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. You're full of nothing but compliments. The glaze is a simple concept, yet tedious in the making. However, it was an extraordinary end to a deliciously uncommon dinner. So we've had a very successful evening here at this uh, home fellowship group. Enjoyed the group. Love these people, number one. What a great group of friends. Um, but wow, what a, what a response to the dishes we put together. They really seem to enjoy everything. Everybody, we got great reviews, we got praise. PC's curry was probably the biggest hit of the night. But we've had a great time. We love doing what we do. And uh, I think that with all the preparation, the planning, and once we got here, we hit the wine. <laughs> We want you to hire us. I mean, not only hire us, but we're looking for sponsors. I just want people to pay us. So thanks for joining us on this episode of The Comic Chef. We look forward to seeing you next time when we... What are we doing next time? Oh, I know what we're doing. We're going to... Yes, I do. I have a plan. We're going to cook for each other. Isn't it my night next? I think... Well, okay, well, yeah. It'll be cool. <laughs> I think fun. it's Christmas night night. Christmas I want a night. I want a night. Yeah! I want a night. Right, it's your night next